Welcome to Ekidel, where I will train future civil and structural engineer. My name is Justice Umwaka, and I am your instructor. Today, I will be showing you a modeling of a warehouse building, and we will be using the software Potter Structure 2022. So as you can see it here, I am using the latest version of Potter Structure. So if you need this software, I will say that you should visit the company website and download that, or you can also message us on WhatsApp, and then we will guide you on how to get the website. You can check below this video description and check our own WhatsApp contacts. Okay, so right now, I'll be showing you the full modeling and also the design of this warehouse building, and we will start from scratch to this very um, end of, of this structure, as you can see here. So right now, I'll just go and then begin to create my new folder. I'll just go here right now and click on this place and, and click on and create new folder, as you can see there. And I'll wait for, let me just save because it's, uh, it's, it's trying to let you to nice save what we have done before. So this video will be a complete model of this structure, as you can see it here. And it will take us less than 30 minutes to do that, or one hour. Okay, so right now, we'll just go and then click on our code. I'll be using, uh, I'll be using BS code to perform this CTU design. So right now, I'll just type in my project code, which simply means my project name. So I'll simply go here right now and then put on this place, um, warehouse, warehouse, sorry, warehouse, steel building, okay? And I'll go here and then click on okay. Okay, like I said before, if you need this, this um, new version of, of this software, I'll say that you should go to the company website and download that, or you can also, email us or chat us up on our WhatsApp platform and then we will guide you on how to get it. Okay, so let us hold on right now. Once we have um, created a new project, we will now wait for ease to now, um, to now load on the, new, um, on the new project interface. Okay, so right now as you can see, it, it is trying to um, load up for the new uh, interface. This new version tends to take some time to load because it carries a lot of features and also a lot of features in concrete building and also steel buildings. Okay, let us hold on for it to load up and then we'll now begin. Okay, so right now, as you can see, it, it has just loaded up right now. So we will now go and then create a new model. So you have to go to this place here called modeling, as you can see it here, and then create your grid. And we will be using orthogonal axis generator to now create our grid. So I'll just click on this place right now. And then they will ask me here, if you check at this button here, you will be seeing all the instructions of any icon that you click here. So right now that we have clicked on this place right now, you wait for the... You, uh, as you can see here, I say pick the reference point. So I'll just come here right now and pick at this very point here, and I'll just click. And then once I click here, the labels appears right now, which now prompts me to now impute the dimensions of my grid on the x-axis and also on the y-axis. So right now, I'll just go on and impute my, my, my dimensions, of which you can still edit these dimensions if you don't want what, um, what, this, what, this, um, what, what the, this thing looks like outcome look like so i'll go here and then click on this place seven so i want my i want my grid distance to be seven and i want it on this direction as you can see it here on this direction to be i want it to be up to let me just put four i can see change it later and i want it to be six meters and I'll, I'll just click on here and say okay and i'll wait for it to load up okay so right now this is not what i want i want it differently so i'll just come here right now select this um this um first grid line here right click and apply stretch so i'll just want to stretch it because i want the seven meters to be on this on this direction so i'll just stretch it right now to get a to get a reasonable distance of what i want then i would i'll just go here right now select this 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 ones and then delete them first i just right click and then i'll say delete okay so i want seven seven meters of of grid on this vertical axis to be at least up to um six 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 numbers so I'll come here right now click on this and then right click and then say offsets and then i have to hold my shift function f2 key and then type my new value i want it to be seven meters so i'll type seven meters and then press enter key and automatically it will just lock up the it will, it will now lock up what you have just um 
what you have just offsetted. So I want it to be in how many numbers? So I'll just begin to click one, that's two. I have two now. I go again three, okay. I go again four, okay. I go again five, okay. I go again six, okay. And I go again seven, okay. I want the seven numbers, so I'll just go again. I want it now. I have one. I have one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight. Yeah, that's nice. So I'll go here right now. Click on this to stretch it to come across this place to have a to have small extensions on that area. So I'll go again and stretch. Now stretch from here right now to here. Now, as as you all know, modeling looks very very boring because it is called modeling. But if you pay attention on what we are doing today, by the end of this video, you will be able to model what you saw in the beginning of this video. Okay, so I'll again delete this again because I want this place to be 66 meters. So I'll delete this again and then offset from the first grid, which is here. By click here and then say offset, as you can see here. And I'll go again, hold my shift function F2 key and then type my new value, which is my new distance, 6,000 millimeters. And I'll press enter key and I want this to be in, in four numbers. So I already have one, two. So this is three and then this is four. Okay. So right now I'll go here. This one is very, very long. I'll go here right now and stretch it backward. I'll go and stretch it backward, holding from this point and then stretch it backward to this very area here. So this is now what I want to have, as you can see it here. Now on also on this other side, as you can see on this other side here, which is this very one here. I want this place to have an extension point, an offset of 600, okay? So I'll go again right now and then type shift function F2 and type 600 and press enter, okay? And the same thing happens here also. I'll count one, two, three, and on this third one here, I'll go again and then right click and then go and say offset 600, which will now give us two different, that's why you have two different levels of that of that steel which you saw from from the beginning so i'll type again 600 and i'll type enter so right now we have just created all the grid lines as you can see it here these are the, these are the grid lines from one to grid line um eight which will have also nine, um, nine and ten intermediate as you can see there and we also have a grid line of here on a to um grid line d as you can see so right now we want to now create our concrete pedestals so i'll go here right now and then click on this place column and then wait for the dialog box to appear. It takes some time to appear, as you can see it here. So right now, I want my column pedestals, the, the size of my column pedestals to be 400, as you can see now, 400 by 400. I, I want to use a square pedestal, which, which these two stanchions will now stay on top of it. And then we will now use a base plate to now um, bolt it down on, onto the pedestals. So right now, I will begin to put my the point of my pedestals. I have one point here, and I have one point here, I also have one point here also and the same thing happens here at the very end here i have one here and one here and one here okay and the same thing happens here also i have one one pedestal here and, and one here and one here and one here and here and here and here okay like i said before it will take us less than 30 minutes sorry i don't have anyone there here i need to go off this one here so it will take us up to 30 minutes to finish up this video. Okay, so right now we will go again. On this other side now, I have a concrete wall here. I have a concrete wall here. So I'll go again here and then click on concrete wall. Just as you saw the image on the first, on the first part of, of, of this video. So I want my concrete wall to be 250 by, okay, 250 as, my, as, as, my, as, as the width of my concrete wall. So I'll go again right now and insert it from this point down to this very point here. Yeah, but I want to have a demarcation for that. So I want my um, wall to be from here to here again. I don't want a stretch wall from here again to here and to here to here. Okay. And again, I want again from here to here. Okay. And then from here to here. Okay. And then again from here to here. Okay, so right now we have just created our concrete wall just now. Now I have to go to this place now, which um, means set out here, and then go to this place story to now um, add my story height for this story one. So the the height of my the height of this pedestals is nine hundred. So I have to I have to put this level to be nine hundred. So I put their level level one level one, which is story one, as nine hundred. I'll say um okay and then say yes now if we check this out just now on the 3d view to look at what we have just got 
3D view right now, you will see what we have just got just now. You can see what we have got just now. Okay, as you can see it now. So it is not time, it is not time for us to now go and insert our stick tension on top of this concrete pedestal just now. So I'll go here right now and click back on this plan view as you can see there. So again, I'll go again right now and then insert my story two because that concrete pedestal will, will, will be coming from story two on this other side. This full steel warehouse have have three levels, which is story one, two, and three. Okay, so I'll go here right now again on this. Um, building set out and then click on this place and click here and say insert story and then i'll go here and put two as my story two and i'll put the height of the story here automatically this the the height of this second story is 3500 millimeter so i'll put in that value right now and then click on okay okay so right now we now have our story two active here as you can see it here so i'll go again right now this place modeling and then go to this place right now and can insert my 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 steel columns so i click on this place right now and then click on this here steel column here and then on this other side now i'll click on this place to choose the size of my steel i, I want to use the the size of my steel to be heb and i want to use also european size of steel so i'll go here and click on this place and i'll use heb 220 for my size of my steel columns so i'll go here and choose heb steel 220 as you can see it here and i'll click on okay um, here select and i'll click on okay here and then i'll begin to now put the same points where i where where i have my concrete pedestals which which in story one we have our pedestal at this point so i'll go here and then click on this point here and the same thing happens here also and the same thing happens here also okay and also the same thing happens here i have my uh, our pedestal here and then at the same point here, we have pedestal at this point here and also at this point here. Okay. And then we also have here, we also have at this point here. Okay. Sorry. This, um, this concrete, um, these steel columns are meant to be inserted at this very point here and not this side because this um, building have different levels. So I have one here and I have one here and I have one here and i have one here okay and i have one here also one here and one here one here and one here and one here okay so this one's not that we have already started here is not on this level this one should be coming from the from the third floor which is the which is the level three so i'll just delete that which i have here already on this on this floor right now on this area and leave only this one here and the same thing happens here again i'll just select this right now randomly and do this and say yes okay delete and i'll do the same thing here and delete this also so if you now check out on the 3d view now for what we have just got let us see what we have got just now so you can now see what we have got just now as you can see it here that this that this that these two columns are seen directly on these concrete pedestals with the size of this of, of this of, of this um, concrete wall is 250 okay so right now you can see what we have just got just now as you can see it here right now so we will now go again and then go move over okay move over right now to back to our back to um story two plan view as you can see it here and then we will now have to now uh, model this area as you can see this area here the steel column for this area so i'll go again the sorry the steel bin i'll go again right now and click on steel bin here and then i want my steel bin to be hgb 180 so i'll go here and click on this property right now and then go and click hgb which is my um steel and then choose 180 and then click on this place select and i'll go again now the size of this steel depends solely on you okay so but there, there, there is a manual which we will be uploading soon on this um, channel which also we will show you different type of um, sizes of steel which you are meant to choose okay so right now I'll go again and click on this place and insert this here okay and then i'll go again escape and then click here and insert this from here to here and then from here to here and then from here to here Okay, so right now we will now go and then insert our steel truss. But then let us check our 3D view of what we have just got just now. So this is now what we have just got. So right now we will now go and insert our steel truss on top of this area. So I'll go back right now on the on the plan view here, as you can see it here, and then go to this place, steel members, and then click on trusses here. Now on this truss is just now 
a dollar okay it is not telling us that we should pick two points of um two points of axis insertion main bars so i'll just click on i want my trust to to spam from here all the way down to this place here now once i click here right now a dollar box will appear for for the trust now once the dollar box appear for the trust you will now have to choose your trust properties and your trust dimensions okay so right now i want to use this type of trust here you can see that we have different type of trusts, wiring trusts and all that. I want to use this type of trust. So I'll go there right now and click on, the, on my type of trust as you can see it here. And then I want to use this same one here. So I'll click on that and then begin to insert all my values here. So on this place right now, I want my I want my apex height here to be 1,800, which of which, if I click on this place, you will see that here we're going to increase. Put your eyes here and see how here we will increase. So if I click here right now, you can see that there is an increase here. I here I want here also to be 1,800, and click on what? I'll click here, and you can see that the, the, there is a massive increase there. So again, I want here right now. I want this place right now, which is this hill, which is this right hill here. Which is the HR, which is here to be left as um, I want here to be to to be one thousand two hundred. And I'll go again here and say one thousand two hundred, and I'll click here, okay. And I want it to span at three meters. That is okay. And then I'll go again right now. I want my top cord extension, which is this extension here. I want this this truss to extend to give an eave. So I want it to have an eave to. So this way has been so i'll put the if length here at 600 and i'll click here as you can see it here right now and i'll or i'll just go here right now and remove this and then go here this place here sorry make it to be zero make it to be zero here must be zero okay so i'll go here back here and make this one here this extension this left hand can't lever i'll make here to be 600 here right now i'll make here two to be 600 and i'll press enter here and i'll just click here so right now we will now move on to this place right now and then go here as you can see it here as you can see this place here called members so i'll go here right now and choose my size of my of, of my steel trust which is the members so as you can see it here right now they are all given as default but i want to go and change my 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 top cord my my top cord size here so i'll go here right now and click on this place now Okay. Now on this telebus right now, it, it is still on on this um, on this um, angle ion here as you can see. So I'll go here right now and click at this place. Telebus appears right now. I want to use my size of my of my listing to be one hundred by one hundred by eight as you can see there. And I'll click on what select. Okay, and I'll click on okay. The same thing for the bottom cord also. Bottom cord is still 100 by 100 by 10. So I want my thickness to be 8. So I'll go again and click again. And then click on this place right now. And then go here and then say 100 by 100 by 8. 8 thickness. And I'll click on select. And I'll click on OK. Now, this, these sizes that we are choosing are just, are just, are just the default. When we will not perform the full design for this T structure, if any if if any of this member fails, then we will not go ahead to gonna, to to not go and increase the size that we that to not increase the size of these two members. So on this place right now, I want it to have seventy by seventy by five, as you can see there. And I'll click on what select, and I'll click on OK. The same thing happens to this one also here. Verticals. I go here again and choose my verticals members to be 70 by 70 by 5 and i'll click on select and i'll click on okay okay so right now and on this place also called the horizontals i want the same horizontal dimensions to have also 70 by 70 by 5 okay and i'll click on okay select and then click on okay and then with this right now now go and click on okay so this is now set as our default size of our trust which i want to use so i'll go and then begin to um, click at these very points here and click here also and then click here also and i'll click on escape because i've already inserted all the all the um steel trust here and i'll click on escape key and if i check on our 3d view right now 
you will see what we have just done just now as you can see there right now you can see what we have done just now as you can see there so right now we will now move ahead we're not going to insert our bow lines so i'll go again right now click at this place plan view and then go directly on this place against team members and click on bow lines here now on this bow lines just now we have to now select two trusses to for our bow lines to be able to insert so I'll go here and click here and then click here and a dialog box will appear for the pole lines. So on this pole line right now, I want to use, I want to leave it as it is here, UPN 100. Well, this is the most common type of pole lines, which is common. So I want to use my pole line member of steel to be um, UPN 100. So again, right now, I'll go on this place right now, this place here. I want it to be, now on this place right now, see generation, um, method I'll click on this place I don't want it to give me a default spacing of 1000 I'll go here and say space by spacing so on this place right now I'll go here I want my spacing to be um, 1000 I want my spacing to be 1100 first let me look at it and then I'll go again right now and leave everything here as default as you can see it here and first of all and then click on this place called okay then I want this place to have, let me check it first on 3D view of so that we can see what we have just done. So you can now see what we have done just now. You can see what we have done as you can see there right now. Okay, you can now see what we have. You can see it there. Okay, I'll go again right now. Click at this place, right click and then say properties, which is T that's that simple lines. So if you want to if you want to reduce this right now, I'll you can go ahead and, and just reduce the value. And say 1000 and say okay if you want to be okay as you can see there but i want it to be 1100 so i'll go here again right click and say properties and then go and put in my value there one one hundred millimeter and then on this end here on this very end here let me go back to the plan view on this very end here right now i want it to have an if distance of 600 so i'll go again and click on this pull lines i click and then say properties and I want it to have an EVE of 600. So I'll go here on this right end cantilever and type 600 and I'll press enter and I'll just look at it here. Okay, it is coming out here. So I'll go and change it to left end. So I'll go here and then click here and I'll put in here to back to be zero and here to be um, 600 as my cantilever length. Just, it's not cantilever actually, it's an EVE. So I'll go and check again on 3D view and check again. So you can now see what we have just got right now. So now it is now time to now uh, insert our, what they call roofing sheet, or you can call it cladding. So right now, I'll go ahead right now and click on this place here, team members, and then click on cladding here. Now on this cladding right now, you have to select a pole line. So I'll go here and click on this pole line. And then to now show me this cladding, as you can see it here. So I'll just go ahead right now and then click on this place, say okay. And then it will now cover up the cladding as you can see there right now. Okay, so this is now the cladding as you can see. So right now we now have a default. We now have a default of of all the settings that we have done for the for the truss and for the pole lines and for the um, and for the cladding. So right now we will now begin to now insert our pole lines for this other side here. So I will now begin to work it directly here on this 3D view level. So I'll go here right now and then click on, on the pull lines here. And I'll just select these two trusses, one and two here. And then since I already done my settings before, no more settings again, I'll just go and click on okay. Now you can see, see that there is still a cantilever um, span, there is a cantilever thing on this, sorry, there is still an if entering here on this pole line. So I'll click on body on the pole lines, right click and then say properties and then go and remove the if from this value point and make it zero at, at this one because we want the if to only be seen on this other side here at the end and also at the end here. So again, I'll go again right now and then click here and then say pole lines, pole lines and then click again on this pole line and on this truss here and this truss here. And then I'll go again right now and I want my if to be at this other side. So I'll say if here of 600 and I'll say, okay. And you will see the if here at this very point here. Okay, so right now it is not time to now cover also to now apply this um this um cladding, which is also called roofing sheet on this other side of, of, of this um of this pole lines. So I'll go again right now and click on this place and then Click here and then click on cladding here and i'll go again right now and click at this place and then click on okay as you can see do the same thing here click here and then click on okay 
Okay, so right now you can now see what we have just done just now. So we have um, successfully created on this other side right now, on this first level. So it's not time for us to now go and create for this other level here, as you can see. So right now we will now, say first of all, try to save. Always, can, always try to save what you have done in case there is any shutdown of the software or your system, you will not lose all the work progress that, that you have done. So right now we will now begin to now insert on this other side. This other side and this other side they are all typical so i'll first of all do on this side first so on this side right now or on this side these two and the trusses who will be coming from the third floor so on which is the third level so right now go here on this other side here and then click at this place story to insert our story tray which is we are still on story two we will now go here and say insert story and then go here and then put um tree here and the same height of greater than 500 so 3500 and then click on this place here and say okay and then say yes now on this story tray right now i'll have to now go back to my plan view right now so i'll go here and then click at this place right click and then say plan view on from this story tree so we are still on story tree right now on the plan view now on this story tree right now i'll have to go and click here first and then go to steam members now can insert my steam members on this one because right now we will now insert our steam members for this for this for all these concrete pedestals as you can see it here so i'll go back to the plan view right now and then go to this place steam members and then click on steel column the same size of um steel which is steel heb heb one heb 220 which 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 we are still using so i'll still go again and say heb um 220 and let that 220 and i'll say um okay okay and i'll say um okay here and then i'll have to now go and insert my steel my steel here first now once i insert my steel here if you check on our 3d view here you can see that this steel is still hanging here as it is here but i want this steel to come from the third floor here down to this concrete pedestal as you can see it here so so right now we have to now go and apply what they call length on this place so i have to go and change the length of this right now by clicking on properties and then change from this length here i'll change from length one from story from length story one that this column should span up to story three as you can see there and i'll click on what they call update here and then you will see it now at this very point here so you can now see that it has now span as a single um steel from the top here down to the bottom here so i'll now click on what they call here close so now we have now successfully inserted our first t here so i'll go again right now and click at this very point here plan view and right click here and take the, and take these two properties as you can see what is right now and begin to insert on this on, the, on this other side right now so i'll click here and then click here and then also i'll go here again and click here and then click here also and click here also okay as you can see right now so if not check on our 3d view right now you cannot see what we have just done right now successfully as you can see there okay so we go again right now and click on our plan view on this story tree here and then do the same thing here to insert again our steel um columns again for this other side for story tree properties okay and do the same thing here one here and then one here and one here okay and, and do the same thing again here one here and one here now if you have any question regarding what we're doing right now i'll say that you should drop the um drop your question on the comment section and we will reply you typically in less than um 10 minutes okay so we have done that right now so we will now go ahead right now and insert our steel beams so i'll go here right now and click on steel beams here as you can see on that steaming bars and then click at this place and choose my size of my, my size for my steel which is still heb 180 i want to use and i click on what here select and then say okay i want my steel to run from here to here as you can see on me right now and from this point again right now to this very point here okay and then from this point right now i want it to run escape from here to here okay and then from here again to this very point here on that on that story tree be just be careful so that you do that, that you're not gonna do it on story two okay we are already done with story two and i'll move on to this place again right now and then span from here to here connecting this together and from here to here again okay and from here i'll escape and click from here to here okay and then also from this point to this point 
okay and i'll go here right now and click on on escape as you can see you can see that this new version has i and j end showing you other versions don't have this i and j end okay so right now we'll now check on our 3d view to now see what we have done so you can now see what we have just done right now so we'll now go and insert our state rules, which we'll do directly here so i'll go here and click on this place and say trust as you can see right now and i'll go and zoom into this place and then click at the point of this t column and then do the same thing here over here again and then go here again and click at the point here okay and then i want to use the same properties which i've already done before and i'll just go and say okay 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 as you can see it here right now okay so i'll go again right now and then click at the point again here at the midpoint here now there is something we'll call ekidel mentorship class or program we will train you specially on concrete design and steel design using this software and also other software or and also engineering software so if you are if if you are interested you can just click on the join button or click on the join link down below and then enroll for the program and then we will begin and it is a live program which which how it does is that you have we, we, we will be at our end here seeing seeing your screen and then we will also be now we will now be directing you on what to do so, so you can now see um what we have just done right now as you can see there so it will now also go and insert our pole lines so go here right again and then click on our pole lines we have already set our pole lines so we will not set again we'll just go ahead and then just insert it so i'll click here right now and click here again and then click just click on ok first and then you can see that there is do we want this extension here this if extension to, to be at this end here to be at this very end here so i'll go just click on it right now right click and then say properties and then change it remove this solid from here and put it at the left end so zero here and put it here 600 here and i'll say update okay sorry then i'll go again right now and then click again from this point to this point here I want to remove it from here and I'll just say zero here and I'll put it on this other side here and I'll put some red here and I'll click on OK. Okay, so you cannot see that we have it here. Okay, that, that's nice. So I'll do again the same thing again and I'll click here, click, click here and then click here. Okay, and I'll click on OK first to see where that uh, cativa will show. Okay, it is nice here. I'll go again and click this point and then this point. But right now i will change that can't leave this um sorry not can't leave this if end to be at this place it's on red this takes care of the uh, wind like the like rainwater hitting directly on the structure at the face of the structure so this will act like an eve so okay not not, not this point it's supposed to be at this point so i right click right now and then say um properties here and then um go here and then put this here and then say zero here and put here and say 600 okay that's nice and i'll say okay okay so you can now see what you have done right now so this will make that this will help this this um this um this cladding or the roofing sheet will not extend here which will not allow rain to drop directly on this steel truss just as it is if it if, if if it was to if this was to end directly um directly at this at, at this very face okay so right now you can now see what you have done right now so we will now go ahead right now and insert our um i now going to insert this um this um cladding on this other side so i'll go again right now click here and then click on um cladding here sorry cladding and then select my pole lines and wait for it to load click on ok and then click again to select and land again insert here again and then click on ok and then i'll move again move again here and um click here right now and say ok and then i'll move again just now move again and insert here and then i'll say okay okay that's nice okay so right now we will now go right now to now insert our wall load because this this the, there is a con there is a block wall load on this on this um on this um raft on this um concrete wall here there is a block wall here then we we'll also insert our brazing as you can see that we have we are almost done like i told you before it won't take longer time as you can see it here right now so we also gonna insert our ground beam also on this other side so right now we're gonna insert our ground beam first and that takes us back to story one as you can see story one here so go and click on story one and then go back to from story one 
click on story one and then click on go back to plan view on that story one. For us, Nagan input our to Nagan insert our ground beams on 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 this pedestal level. So right now, go here and put in my concrete beam. As you can see, concrete beam here. The other boss appears, and I'll put in my concrete depth of beam. I want to use four fifty millimeter, and then still the same um, thickness of two 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 fifty. Okay, so right now we will now click here right now and then click here to insert our 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 ground beams so i'll also do the same thing here the whole idea is to tie the whole pedestal together so i'll go again right now and escape and tie from this again insert my ground beam from here to here and also from this point of of this pedestal right now to this place here now most people used to call this um, just to call this pedestal a short column, but the right name is called pedestal. So I'll go here right now to show you the 3D view of what we have done, so you can see what we have done just now. So I want this level right now, I want this level right now, this beam to be at this very top here, and not this button here. So right now, I'll go and change it now to now be at this top. So let's go right now to go and change it up right now to this place here, to this story one. Always insert it on story one, and then we'll go and click on concrete beam here, and then. Then click here right now and then we'll go again right now and then click here again okay as you can see it now so we will now do escape right now escape and then go over here right now and then click here again right now and then click at this very point again just now okay and then we'll go again right now and then click at this very point here okay so right now we go again and do the same thing here on this other side again and then we'll go here again and click at this point here and then we'll go again right now and then click at this very point here okay and then once that is at right now we'll go again right now and then locate this concrete pedestal and then click again at this very point here okay and then we'll go again right now click at this place concrete pedestal here the midpoint and then locate that again and then click at this point again here Okay, and then go again right now, locate that again, and click at this very point here. Okay, and then we'll now go and check on our 3D view to, to see what we have just done just now. 3D view right now, and then you can now see what we have done, as you can see there. You can now see what we have done, you can see there right now. So we'll now go again ahead and now go and insert our wall load on this concrete um, walls here. So I'll go here right now, click at this place, right click, and then you will see, click here first, can see there, and then we go over to this plan view, this um, building start first, and then go to our, our plan view right now, on that story one. So on that story one now, we have to now go now and then click at this place, this on this concrete wall here, and then we, and then once you click that, you will see this place here, edit, edit load so you click on that load right now and then say yes assign first it will ask you to first of all assign a load case before you now you can you can now insert one load so on this place right now just click on this place here loading generator and then you wait for it to show the new dialog box and, and just click on ok and then click on this place right now ok okay so right now um did Dialog box for this edit world right now, for this edit loads we now show in the next couple of seconds. Okay, so you can now see that it is trying to come up right now. So once it comes up right now, we will go here first and click at this very point here. And then come here and choose the kind of load we want to insert. If you want point, if you want the point load, uniform load, partial uniform load, wall load, or partial load. And this is what other versions of this software but that's what does not have but this is a very very amazing one so right now i'll just go and click on the very load which which are which, which i want to insert which is the wall load i'll go now and click on the wall load and every other load here right now will be made as default as you can see there they have all cancelled only, only only the wall load that 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 is left for us here so i'll go here right now and click on what i want here i want to insert my wall at the top here so i'll go here and click here and then to show me the wall load here directly here now i want my wall load height to be um to be three thousand to two twenty okay the same thing here and i, I want my wall thickness to be nine inches which is two two five so i'll put a two two five 
And then I want my war unit weight for 9 inches block wall is 3.47. Okay, sorry, 3.47. Okay, so I want this all right now. So I'll go here right now. Once I'm done inputting, I'll go here and then click at this place here, update. Okay, I'll wait for it to update and then I'll now go and click on this place here called OK. Now, once I click on OK just now, I will now go and show you on the 3D view of, let us go and see on 3D view of how it looks like. Now, once you insert your wall load, it will show as that wall that, that, that carries the wall load right now, we show as highlighted from the other ones. So I'll go and click on 3D view to see what we have just got. So you cannot see what we have got, but up to then, we can see that the, the this wall load is not reaching this very top of this beam which is the bottom of the bin. So I'll go here, click on this right now, and then go back to to one first. This to you one that are, and then click at this um, place here. If I click and then say uh, edit wall, edit load. Sorry, edit, edit loads, and then we we'll have to now go and impute our values there again. Now wait for it to show. Okay, the labels to show, and I'll click on this place here. I want to edit just this very wall here. So I'll go here right now, and then. Put in my value here. Our size of um, the depth of our of, of our steel beam is HB 180, which is 180, and the height of our story is 3,500. So 35 minus 180 that gives us um, 35 minus 180 gives us. Uh, let me just check on my um, just a small side calculation right now. 35 minus 180 that gives that gives me um, 3,000. 3,000, uh, what again? 3,000, um, okay, it's coming. Okay, so right now that gives me 3320. So I'll put in the value there, 3320, and then come here and say updates. And I'll go here and say okay. And then you can see that that, that space now between the wall and the, and the bin is, is now being closed up. So the same thing right now, since I've already started all just one wall load here, I can copy the, the same wall load and then put it on this other side right now. Because all this place here that, that we have, this place here, all this place that has concrete walls has wall loads on top of it. So I'll just go right now, click at the one that already have wall load. If I click and I'll see it on this place here, or you can also see it here, say copy, what you can see it here, copy load as you can see, and just say okay. And then click at the at, on all the on all the concrete walls i'll just click right now this one and then hold my control key to just make a multi a multi selection and then click on all the ones i want to insert the wall load as you can see there and i'll go here and then click at this place you can see there paste load so i'll go here and click on paste load and i'll wait for it to paste automatically let us hold on for it to paste now also on this um new version of potato structure you can, you can also design for a phone work which i'll show you in time coming okay so you and i'll now go and click on escape right now so you, so you can now see that we now have wall load all inserted on it as you can see there right now so it's not like right to not time for us to not insert what they call brazing because this 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 pan is long so i want to insert a steel brace to be able to hold this wall also so i'll go here right now and also also to also to hold this um steel columns together also so i'll go here and then go and insert my um steel brazing so i'll go back to this place modeling and then go to this place here and then go to this place here you can see it here brazing and then click on this place right now brazing and they will ask me to to, to, not, to not select two columns or two beams so so i want the brazing to insert between the columns so I'll go here and then click here and then click on this other column again. The other was appears for the for 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 the for the steel raising. I want I want to maintain this size here, uh, which is the angular 80 by 80. But we can also go ahead and then change it to 75. So let me use 75 by 75 by 5 thickness or by 10 thickness. So I'll go here and say 75 by 75 by 5. Okay, and I'll go here and then say select and I'll say okay. So right now, I want it to insert directly at the face and not at the mid and, and, and not at the middle. So I'll go again right now and change, change from this out um, out of place alignment, plant plane, plane alignment from center to front. So I want to I want, I want it to be at the front. So I'll go here and then just go ahead and then say okay. Okay. So you will now see it right now placed. At the, at the forefront of this place. So I'll click on escape right now for you to see it where, escape, and then if you check this out right now, escape, 
Sorry. Okay. Okay. Sorry. So, so if if you, if you see it right now, you can see that it is now inserted at the at the front of that. Okay. So I will go now right now and then go and insert the same brazing which I've already set for these other ones also. Now in one thing about this software, once you make any change, it will take it it will take that your change right now as the default for for any other thing that you want to do with that member. So right now, I'll go ahead and insert the same brazing for this other side again. So I'll go here and then click on this place. Okay, it is it, it, it is still um, selecting. I'll go here and then click at this place and then click from this column right now to this column. And then since I've already done, 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 done all the setting before, it will just take it as default and then I'll click on OK here and then it will show automatically here as you can see it now. And I'll do the same thing here from this point to this point and I'll click on OK here. Okay? Now, I'll have to again insert on the other side here, on this other side here. Now, this side right now, I have to change the point of placement from front to back. So, I'll go here and now click back because we have changed, we have changed the view orientation so i'll go here and then choose back so that it can come on the, on this side else it will be another face okay so i'll go again right now and then click from here to here to still insert my steel brazing and i'll click okay okay and then click again from here to um here make sure you don't make me to go and choose another column okay so you can now see what we have just done just now. Okay, you can see that right now. So you can now see that we have successfully performed the full modeling from scratch, as, as I told you, to this very end. So you can now see what we have just done perfectly. Now, if you check the first image, which, which you saw on the beginning of this video, and now you will see that we have done it perfectly here on Ekidel. So we have done the modeling for this warehouse. So we are not we are, we are going to move in right now to the full analysis and design of this steel warehouse and then we will also go over to the, to the to the steel detailing of which i will show you how we will now bolt this steel and this pedestal together which we also use a bolt a like a bolt anchor bolt to bolt them together and i will also show you how um how I will also show you all the all the guiding principles of edge distance between the steel plate, between the base plate, and also the and also this this um, concrete pedestal. Okay, so right now you can now see what we have done. So now, if you find what we have done here on Eki, they are very very useful. I will say that you should click on the subscribe button if you have not yet subscribed, and if you have already subscribed, God bless you. And um, we I will say that the, the the part two of this video will be on the steel design and then the steel analysis and then we will now move on to the battery which will now be on the steel detailing of which we will also employ a new software called Tecla Structure which we which will use for the steel detailing. We only use this software to perform the, the, the model of which we have done and also the design of which we will do in, in part two. And on part three, we, we will now use a new software, Tecla Structure, to perform just this just the steel detailing of which I will show you all the guiding principles on how to perform a full steel detailing. Okay, so right now we have come to the end of this um, video. Now, if you find any any question about this video, I will say of or what we have done here today, I will say that you should drop your comment down below and then we will also reply you. Now, if you if you need this software, I will say that you, you can uh, message us up on whatsapp and we will guide you on how to get that okay so thank you so much and god bless you for staying with me to this very end and then i say that you should always practice for you to be able to understand and retain all what we have done and all what you have been learning here on ekidel always practice and those just don't just watch the video and go and relax always practice and before you before you know yourself one month here on ekidel if you're practicing what you're doing on ekidel you will see that you will improve drastically in your career as a civil and structural engineer. Okay, so thank you so much and God bless you and they will love you. Bye.